Welcome to this 5-minute episode on how to create a scan using a top list window. Let's build a simple top list scan that will show us the stocks that moved the most in the last 60 minutes. First, we go to the toolbar, open the new tab, and select top list window. This will bring us straight to the configuration menu. The strategies tab provides access to many pre-built scans. If you would like to use one of them, simply double click on its name and click OK. The scan will load instantly. But, since we have our own idea, we will instead double click on Start from Scratch. Next, we'll head to the Search tab to select the filters we need. I am only interested in stocks between $5 and $50, so I will select the Price filter and then press the Add Filter button at the bottom. This will bring me straight to the Windows Specific Filters tab, where I can enter my price range of $5 minimum and $50 maximum. Since I don't want my scan to bring up illiquid stocks, I head back to the search tab and enter volume as my next search term. As you can see, there are various filters to choose from. I will pick the average daily volume 5 days filter and select add filter again. Back at the window specific filters tab, I'll enter 150,000 as the minimum. I don't bother to define a maximum number of shares. My scan will now only look for stocks that have traded at least 150,000 shares every day for the last 5 days. Here is one quick tip on the side. Whenever you're unsure about a filter setting, simply click the magnifying glass between the min and max field, and you will get a clear summary of what the particular filter is looking for. And, if you're unsure how a specific filter works, simply right-click on it and select Help. This will bring you to the Alert and Filter Definition page on our website which describes all our alerts and filters in detail. Now, there is one more very helpful volume filter that I would like to add to my scan. Relative volume compares the volume for today to the average volume for this time of day. With the help of this filter, I can easily find stocks in play that show more activity than usual. I will add the filter and then enter 2 in the minimum field. Next up is the Exchanges tab. I want the scan to check all main exchanges, so I won't make adjustments here. I would, however, like to exclude warrants, so I will head to the Symbol Lists tab. Here, I click on Add Existing List and select the Preset Warrants list from the drop down. I place a check mark here and select Exclude the following lists from this drop down. Now my scan will ignore all warrants. I could easily create my own exclusion lists. And I could just as easily create watch lists and restrict my scan to only scan specific stocks. In the Columns tab, I can choose which filter columns I would like to see in my top list window. The field on the left hand side lists the already displayed columns. The right hand side contains all the available ones. The selection I make here only determines which filter columns are visible in the top list. It has no impact on the scan results. I can add any additional columns I would like to see even if they aren't used as search criteria. I am happy with the display, so let's move on to the very important sort tab. This tab is crucial for our top list. Here is where we're defining how the results are ranked. Since I'd like to see the stocks that moved up the most in the last 60 minutes, I need to find and add this filter. To do so, I click the More button, which will show me all available filters. I enter my search term and select the filter, change 60 minutes in percent, and press the sort by button at the bottom. Back in the sort tab, I make sure that biggest on top is selected. I could have just as easily chosen any other filter to rank my scan results by. Now that I have added my requirements, I will double check that my scan is doing what it should, with the help of the summary tab. And voila, my scan is looking for stocks with a price range of $5 to $50, that have traded at least 150,000 shares per day, in the last five days, and currently trade on at least two times their normal volume. All the stocks that my scan will find, will be sorted according to the size of their move in the last 60 minutes. All perfect. Let me quickly name my new scan, then we can finally fire it up. And here it is. Make sure to save your scan to the cloud, before closing it. Simply right click into it, select save or share to cloud, then press save. To load it back up, Go to the toolbar, open the file tab, and select load from cloud. Now highlight your new scan, then press load. And here it is again. This is just a short intro into scan building. We have over 500 alerts and filters to choose from, so the possibilities are truly endless. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us, in case you need help.